All right. So I wanted to get this first shot on camera. I've had this gun now for about two weeks, and I'm just jonesing to shoot it. This is my new, well, new to me. It's not a new gun. The new Marlin 1895 guide gun chambered in what exactly? Yeah, you know, don't you? The 4570 slug. Yes, look at that. These are just some standard Federal 4570 soft jacketed hollow points. I have not shot this gun yet, nor have I ever shot a 4570. So this is a new thing for me. Um, really looking forward to the the punishment that these uh, these guys are going to give me here. Uh, what could I tell you about this gun? Uh, it's a uh, it's basically a uh, a 45 or excuse me it's basically a Marlin 1895 but the the guide gun configuration and uh, the guide gun you know they give you a little bit shorter barrel and a little bit uh, shorter magazine tube uh, these things are uh, they're meant to be uh, you know they were uh, designed in the guide gun configuration to keep them short so that you know you could put them in the uh, behind the Jeep or uh, you know bush pilots in Alaska put them behind the seat in the airplane or whatever as you're you know heading into the the uh, rough country or the uh, you know in the woods uh, and uh, you know it's it's a short gun but it has a lot of power and uh, I, I, I'm gonna take a few shots with it and uh, hopefully I can uh, give you a little bit more information uh, I bought this thing used uh, the barrels ported um, which I've never shot anything with a ported barrel I understand it's supposed to help with the recoil but it's gonna be a little loud which uh, well, it's 4570, so I'm anticipating a little bit of a kick. But uh, let's see what it's uh, let's see what it's going to be like here. I don't know if you're going to be able to read this or not. I have the worst camera in the world, but maybe I should spend less money on uh, ammo and buy a decent camera. The Marlin Firearms Company, North Haven, Connecticut, model 1895G. 4570 government and I don't know if you can read that or not that little stamp right there but that's a JM stamp which of those of you who are watching this most of you or you wouldn't be watching this right you know what that means that is the uh, that's the Marlin stamp that this gun was made by Marlin firearms this gun was made in 2001 by the serial number and that JM stamp there uh, means that uh, it was made before the big changeover and uh, which is uh, now Marlin's owned by Remington. And uh, we've all heard the stories about uh, there being some quality control issues. Uh, and uh, I did. I, I, looked at, uh, I looked at brand new Marlin guide guns. And uh, I, I compared it to this one. And boy, what a difference. Uh, this gun is, uh, you know, it's made in 2001. And we're in 2014 now. So this gun's 13 years old. And, uh, you know, the, the, the checkering on the stock is just much better uh, than the uh, the newer Marlins, the the wood it, it just it feels real cheapy. Um, the finish on this this gorgeous piece of wood here is just unbelievable. Um, the the action on this uh, seems a lot more smooth. Uh, I don't know. I mean, you you go uh, go to your local gun shop and uh, you tell me for yourself here. But uh, I spent almost just as much money on a used Marlin guide gun than you would have for a brand new one. Um, I, I wanted a a, a JM stamped. Marlin brand guide gun, not a uh, Remington or a uh, Remlin as people are calling them. So I'm going to flip this thing over here and I'm going to load my first 4570 rounds that I will have ever shot with this gun. And wow, that thing just looks like butter. Oh, I say that. All right, so we have three in the magazine. That gun just loaded fantastic. I have my uh, I have my Marlin 1894 out here in 44 Magnum, and it doesn't chamber as well, uh, or uh, excuse me, uh, uh, load as well. It's kind of a stiff uh, stiff gun, but it works uh, works just fine. All right, well, we have a variety of targets set up here, and again, I have never shot the 44 Magnum, or excuse me, not 44 Magnum. I'm talking about my other gun now. I have never shot. The 4570 yet. It's my first time shooting it. 
One thing I have been told, and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna try this. Uh, I'm not being scientific here or anything. Just being a little precautious. One thing I've been told about the 4570s with the ported barrel is that they're very loud. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my normal set of earplugs if I can get them in my ear, and uh, I'm gonna put two sets of earplugs on because I have no idea what this thing's gonna sound like. I imagine it's not going to sound like a 22. Do you think it'll kick like a 22? I don't think so. Now I've shot a lot of like 12 gauge, you know, slugs. So that's my comparison, if you have it, to a uh, what I'm used to in the forms of recoil. But I've never shot a 4570. So you and I are doing this together. I'm uh, taking my first shots I've ever shot with it. Let's put a big old round in the chamber. We'll lower the hammer gently. Be safe. And let's just take a couple shots with it. We have a variety of targets set up here. Um, got a water jug. We'll try to save that for last. Got a few cans set up. And I'm just going to start with uh, three uh, just, just federal uh, basic cartridges. And then I'm going to move up to some 430 grain uh, HSM bear loads. We'll see if my shoulder can handle the punishment first. All right, here we go. First shot with the 4570 Marlin guide gun. Thanks to you, Hickok 45, I own one. I don't think there's much left of that can. You know, I've seen online that this, the 4570, it doesn't really hit you hard. It just kind of pushes you around a little bit. And that's kind of what it does. It just kind of, kind of pushes you real hard. And, uh, you know, if you're safe, that can be fun. It's fun to get knocked around a little bit if it doesn't hurt you. Uh, of course, we will pick up our brass, right? Expensive brass, expensive bullet expensive cartridges speaking of expensive bullets and that wasn't too bad by the way that uh, my first three shots that wasn't too bad uh, and uh, being that I'm wearing two sets of earplugs I couldn't really tell that much of a difference in noise uh, but uh, anyway uh, not to get too scientific or anything but speaking of expensive bullets let's go ahead and try something different these are uh, HSM bare load 430 grain uh, these are plus P's, which I've read online. It doesn't really doesn't really say that you can't shoot a plus P in a 4570. I don't see why this barrel wouldn't be able to handle it. That's for certain. But these are gonna kick a little, probably a little harder. Look at those things. 430 grain, hard cast, 4570 rounds. Let's go ahead and load a few in while I'm gabbing at you. Yeah, this gun's a sweetie. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this gun. So this gun holds four plus one. And what we've done right here is we've loaded and load Load four. And then we're going to load, we're going to put a big old round in the chamber. Let the hammer down gently, cock it back, and top it off. So now we have four plus one, so we're fully loaded. 
guide gun holds uh, five rounds versus the uh, standard uh, 4570 uh, 1895. The barrels, uh, excuse me, the magazine tube's a little longer. I think it holds five plus one, so you get an extra shot in there. But the guide gun, you know, it's designed to be shorter and a little bit lighter, um, you know, so, you know, it's used as a guide gun. You know, folks in Alaska, uh, you know, uh, throw it on your back. Uh, you hardly know it's there. It's not the lightest thing necessarily, even though it's designed to be light. Um, but anyway, uh, take that for whatever it's worth. Let's go ahead and uh, pop this safety off here and take a little bit more punishment. Eventually, that water jug is going to have a hole in it. Did you see that? I sure did. <laughs> oh man, this gun is sweet. Let's shoot it a few more times here. I don't think there's much left of that can either. Now these rounds have a little bit more power to them, I'm not going to lie. This one kind of pushes you around and knocks you around a little bit. Alright, we have one more big torpedo left. Let's hit something with it. Oh man, too much fun, too much fun. Well, let's give you one more look here at the Marlin 1895. And it's just a sweet gun.